All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how we can create a quiz in Adobe Captivate 2019. So if you're an instructor and you're putting together a lesson plan for students, something very awesome is to be able to you know, create a quiz that they can take online, which will be able to grade their answers and just let them know how they're doing in the class. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So let's just jump right into that. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is just to make sure my title is good and I've already started that part. And I'm gonna add a little opacity to the background of it just to, uh, to make that, that background of the title blend in a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to add three questions just to start out, just to give you an idea. I'll do two multiple choice and one true and false question. All right, there's a lot of different options we can add, but I think that's okay. I'm going to make this a multiple answer type of quiz, at least for that, that one question, so that people can select multiple answers, 10 points for each question. And I think I'm gonna do five questions. Or five possible choices. All right, so these are some different options you have, but I wanted to say continue after they get the answer right. Okay, and I'm gonna put that they have three attempts to get it wrong. So there's gonna be that error message right there, try again if they do get it wrong. I'll give them three options, uh, three opportunities. And if they get it wrong after that, they'll just lose points. And you can set it up however you want. All right, so I'm going to start with my first question here. Okay. Now we need to come up with five possible answers. All right, so here's the first one. All right, let's put in the next one. Lesson plan, that sounds pretty good. This is awesome right here. Check this out. Yeah, discipline paddle. Yeah, that's, that's how we're going to get them. <laughs> Hopefully you don't choose that. All right, and then our last one here. Okay, it's not listed. All right. So basically, in order for this to work properly, I have to select the right answers on my screen so that the computer knows which ones to grade wrong and, you know, et cetera. So I, I selected three possible answers as the right answer. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And I think I want to get rid of those letters just so it looks more like that. OK, so for my next one, I'm going to do another multiple choice. This time I'm gonna keep the letters because I'm gonna make this to where I can only have one right answer. Okay. Okay, I'll just go on my... Okay, so that, that's my, my first question there, or my question for this one. Again, this is not a multiple answer one and I'm gonna give four different options for the right answer here. I'm gonna keep the letters, since this is more of a traditional multiple choice. And just have to add my, my possible answers here. And again, you can set this up however you want. I'm gonna set this up to, to be a you know, all the above are correct type of, um, type of answer. So the first three are right, and then I'll just put all of the above. So we're gonna make this one D. All right, so that just gives you two different types of multiple choice. And for this one, I'm gonna do a true or false, just so you can see how this one works also. What should we, what should, okay, all right. We're gonna stay with the, the paddle theme on this one for all you disciplinarians. <laughs> all right, a wooden paddle is a legal and appropriate way to discipline students. What do you think? <laughs> all right, we're gonna have to do false on that one. You know, maybe back in the day, it was different, but. So now we're, you know, this is basically what the students will see after they finish the quiz, and it's gonna show them how many they got right, how many they got wrong, and, what percentage or, or you know the percentage of the accuracy 
And so I think we're pretty much done. I just want to add one thing to the beginning, though. I have a GIF that I created on a website called Presenter Media, and I want to add this because I, I think that it makes it more interesting. It's a moving picture. I could add that to all the slides, really, but I want to just add something to the first one. You can't see it right now, but once we export it, we'll be able to, you know, see how uh, this GIF is able to move. I dragged and dropped it, but you can also add it this way by clicking the media button and selecting animation. So just a quick run through to make sure everything's OK. And now we're ready to export. So you would just click publish in order to export this to your computer so that you can upload it in any kind of format. Um, I, I typically use the HTML5 format to embed into my website, but it gives you some different options there. But we can actually do this without publishing. We can just preview it. And I'm going to preview it in the HTML5 browser. And I'm using Safari. So this will allow you to see what it would look like before you even upload it to your website, you know, just to make sure everything's OK. All right, so now uh, you see the, the GIF there. Building a solid foundation, quiz one. Good luck, students. All right, so let's jump into the first one here. Let's answer it together. All right, what tools do teachers need to be effective? Discipline paddle? Uh, nope. <laughs> That's not the right one, but we already know that. So let's get rid of that. And it's those three answers that are the right answers. So let's see what happens. All right, so it looks like I got it right. So now I can move on to the next question. You may be assigned to teach an online class. How does online learning differ from traditional education? I'll try this one first. A. OK, we know that that's not the correct one. It's all of the above. So I'm going to click that. Got that correct. Now I can move on. A wooden paddle is a legal and appropriate way to discipline students. What happens if I select true? Ah, I got it wrong. OK, it's false, right? But that's good because the way I set it up, I made it to where even though I made mistakes because I got three tries, I'm still able to get a 100 percent. So you can set it up however you want. But that's how I did it. And just to show you when you go back, it just shows you what you got right. And it, there's a green check mark if you got it right. And there'd be a red X if you got it wrong. But that's pretty much it. So you know, uh, you'll be able to now create your own question and uh, answer portion uh, for any of your online classes. I think that this is something your students are going to appreciate and it's something that helps you to know just how your students are doing in the class. It's an awesome feature in Adobe Captivate 2019.